some older horses that are maybe ready right now for the show, but how we're going to maintain that process so that they're really peaking, you know, five or six months from now and how we're going to get that job done. Mainly showcasing these horses at the rope horse fraternities. They're a great place to just go show off these young horses and where they are and season them under uh, a reasonable amount of stress, not as much as rodeoing and other things. So we've got horses that are maybe five and six years old that have been faturity a couple of years now. And the question we get asked a lot, because it's similar to the barrel horse faturities, is when these horses are peaking before the faturity, how do you make sure that they don't get flat or dull beforehand? And for me, uh, Greed and Firecracker are my two really solid horses right now that I'm showing. And so for me, it's just the little things like, like try to just work on not hammer on the stuff that they're, they know, they know the run, they know certain, certain things, but like I'm going to be working on the little details, polishing in the box and just making them as calm as possible and not making as many runs because I want quality runs, not quantity at this point. I don't want to dull their footwork. I want them to be sharp when we get there. And I think if you do too many runs too long, that you, everything gets a touch duller. It can get real solid, but it can get real dull in the process. And that's what I try to stay away from. I think for me and uh, starting, what I want to focus on is that you can physically get a horse farther down the road a lot of times than they're mentally ready for. Um, if they're we can get them to do a lot of things by having them broke and putting the right buttons in them. But if you're not careful, you'll get what they can do physically, you know, way out in front of what they can handle mentally. So um, Firecracker, for instance, um, Trevor let me take him to a few circuit rodeos. And uh, he's a five-year-old. He's done great at the Futurities. Um, it probably seems a little crazy to take him to those uh, to actual rodeos um, and put the full amount of heat on him, but he's been just camped on the last year in a way that's made him mentally ready for it. Um, he's been rode right. Um, and with that being said, you've got to do everything within reason. Um, we don't leave home with him for a month and take him to 10 or 15. Yeah. Um, and something that I do. Uh, people probably think I'm crazy, but getting horses away from the house, uh, such as Firecracker, I might go to a open rodeo and enter the team roping with my wife, and it's a $50 run to score one cow. But if that's what it takes uh, to get the horse, it's a cheap cost mm -hmm. to keep them from going through a repetition where, oh, we horses are smart. We go home, we score, we act right. We leave the house and they put a barrier up in front of us. We're gone, and that's a that's lack of discipline in uh, riders. And so I think to sustain a horse, you've got to be willing to be disciplined enough to do what it takes to keep your horse right, even in situations like that. We are always getting ready for faturities, and it, it doesn't have to be just faturities. If you have a young horse and you're going to jackpots and trying to build him to that when you know you have one coming up, I think the biggest help you can do for that horse is to not try to make him ready a month before you get somewhere. Uh, our next faturity may be 45 days out. And so if these horses aren't doing exactly what we need them to do, we'll work on pieces of the run and not completely stress out that they don't just lay down the best run of their life every time as long as as long as we're making gradual adjustments and that, that they're letting us control each movement that's that's the biggest thing and then so we can start adding a little speed as necessary and building towards whatever event is coming up whether it be a jackpot or a fraturity